Hello everyone, it's Darby with Riverbend Survival again. Tonight I'm going to tell you about three stories and how they all converge into one. A few weeks ago, my friend Bob Knight over at Bob 808 Knight, he did a video about a jacket that he wears when he is out camping, bushcrafting, scouting. Uh, there was some conversation about it and I'm pretty sure it was a Facebook video. Uh, during that video, uh, we were conversing back and forth, and I told him what jacket I thought it was, and he talked about how much he liked the jacket and the good deal he got on it and, and, and how good it's worked out. Um, and it's a great jacket. He loves it. Now, that's the first part. Here's the second part. There's a thrift store that I go to, and I go there about every week, two weeks, and I just look through it. I go and look at the camouflage clothing, I go and look at the pots and pans, uh, looking for cast iron, I've never found any cast iron in there. And at the very back right corner, there is a section with backpacks. Three weeks ago I went in there and there was a camouflage backpack that was decent. Had a little rip on a zipper, a zipper was ripped on it. And to be honest, I don't even know why that zipper was there. Uh, and I thought to myself, I ought to buy that pack, it's only $6 and see what I can do with it. <clears throat> and then I thought, you know what, I don't need another pack right now. What I'll do is I'll wait two weeks, come back, if it's still here I'll buy it, if not then somebody else that needed it would get it. That's the second story. The third story is about a jacket that I wore when I, was, when I got out of the Navy when I retired. It was a Greenfield jacket. It was a standard military issue field jacket. I loved it. Uh, it had been repaired a lot by the time I got out. I'd had it for probably seven or eight years on active duty. Uh, it was faded. It fit me perfect. It was absolutely one of the most comfortable jackets on the face of the earth. But then it finally got to the point where the material could not be repaired anymore over the right-hand pocket. So I got rid of it. I threw it away. Not too terribly long ago, within the last couple of weeks, my wife had said, you know, you used to love that jacket. You ought to get another one. And I said, you're probably right. So I went on eBay and some other places and I looked. <clears throat> and the prices for even a used one was outrageous. And I could not find the same one that I had when I was in. Uh, and when I found some that were close, they were way more than I was going to pay for an old military jacket. That's the third story. And here's where the three stories come together. I liked the jacket that Bob had. I liked the fact that it was long. I loved my military jacket. And I had gone to look, three weeks later, I went to look for that backpack and it was gone. As I'm walking from the back of the store to the front, I look off to my right and I see something in the rows of clothing, in the rows of coats. So I walk all the way around, go and come back two miles. It took me a few minutes to figure out where I'd seen it at. It's really long. And what I wound up finding was my own jacket. I'll show you what I found right now and show you that all three things came together for the low, low price of $19.96. Be right Here's back. what I found. It is a parka type jacket. It's the same length as Bob's jacket. The only difference is it does not have a split in the tail in the back. It has a full hood with the faux fur on it. Um, there is not a single rip. Not one single tear, not a stain, not a missing button, not a broken tooth on a zipper. It is like it came out of the showroom. It has somebody's name stenciled on it. <clears throat> D.L. Patton. His name is stenciled on it. Um, and it fits me like a glove. It's already broken in and it's already uh, comfortable. Uh, it doesn't have all those, make all those weird sounds new coats do. But on top of this being in perfect shape, one second, it came with the fur liner. Let me move this up closer here for a second. It came with the heavy duty canvas coated on the on the part that would be on the against the shell, and the entire liner is the military fur. Uh, every single snap is on it. 
uh, every button loop to hold the sleeves in. Uh, this is a true, true, very cold weather coat with this. And it's just a good all around, it gets nasty out coat with this part. Put them together, it's a phenomenal combination. Now, for those of you that think that you have to spend a ton of money to get quality gear, uh, here is the actual price tag that came off of it. And I lied just a second ago. It was $19.91. That's it. There is no possible way other than getting it for free or like $5 at a garage sale that you could ever beat this deal. Hold on a second, I'll put it on. As you can see, it fits perfect. It's not too tight. I still have room to grow into it, not that I want to grow anymore. Uh, it is in perfect shape all the way around. It has, uh, I'm going to do something weird and lean up into the camera here. The hood is the perfect size and of course it has all the snaps to come up as far as you want it to but it's not one of those hoods that's all baggy and hangs over the top of your face this fits more like a, a stocking cap um, I do not have the liner in it right now because it's way too hot to put that liner in to be honest unless I go on a trip somewhere <clears throat> where it's going to be really cold uh, snowy that kind of things uh, I will never wear that liner. It's just too hot and too heavy, but I have that option. So, for $19.91, I got the perfect field coat for what I do. And all three stories came together. My wife told me to find me a new field jacket because she knew I missed mine. I had just been discussing with my buddy Bob about his field jacket. And then I went to go see if something was still there, and it wasn't. And I'm just looking around as I walked through. I went ahead and it slowed down. I was just walking to the door and glanced over and saw it. In my mind, when three things like that come together at the same time, you buy it. And it doesn't cost a lot of money to get quality gear. Hope you all enjoyed my story. Have a great night. Get out there in the dirt and have some fun. Thanks.